Hey guys, Kid Guru here, and today I have a tech world tutorial. And a really common question I get is, you know, with Vista, a lot of people have Vista now. Some people have actually switched over. You know, some people have it on their machines by default now. You know, how do you get it sped up? You know, granted, mine isn't as fast as it could be. I mean, I can probably tweak it more, and I should spend time doing it. And uh, same with you guys. Maybe you should spend time one day if you do have Vista, just to speed it up. You know, maybe uh, tweak it somewhat, or you know. Uh, look into getting new hardware or you know just in general tweaking it and keeping it main keeping in good maintenance which I should add to the bottom but I'll talk about it later first off if you want to really speed it up hardware wise would be the probably the best way to utilize is your hardware uh, see if you can, your laptop or your desktop if it's a desktop it's considerably you can get it running better laptops a little harder because you know mobile and not most laptops aren't you know up, well they are upgradable it's a little harder uh, RAM wise if your laptop can support two gigs uh, do upgrade it uh, one gig for Vista isn't really the standard it's more you know you can run but you can't really multitask on XP you could with uh, Vista two gigs is kind of the place where you can start multitasking three or four if you could support it if your laptop can support it will be more of your uh, you know your better where you can uh, highly multitask and run a couple stuff in a you know me not so memory intensive uh, next, if you can't upgrade your CPU, I mean, if you have a good CPU, check how, you know, how your, uh, processor is to see, you know, if you're running Vista, you, I'm running on a 1.4, dual 1.4s, so dual helps a lot, um, you, obviously if you're running on, like, a 1.4, just a core solo or something like that, you, you may have, you know, baby slow, you just, don't want to really upgrade Vista to old computers, but, uh, I guess, Newer line computers, uh, eventually everybody's going to have to make the move. XP is great. I love XP. I still have it on my desktop. I'm not taking this over that. I mean, personally, XP is still my favorite. HD, if you want more hard drive space, that's something more easy to upgrade along with RAM. So look into getting these parts. I would recommend Newegg.com has some good prices. So yeah, hardware-wise would be the best way. Check if you can do. Uh, if you have a desktop, you have more options, like getting uh, probably a better motherboard that supports more hard uh, RAM x64 bit operating system stuff like that okay so first off software wise does is speeding up to give some extra tweaks I'm gonna go over the whole overview here of my tweaks so MS config will be the first way to go I'm just gonna go to start run MS config it stands for Microsoft configure I believe um, so I'm gonna wait for that and as soon as that opens it takes a second here now first off go to boot Change this timeout it's time for 30 to 3. And if you want, you don't. You can hit no GUI boot, which actually gives you a secret boot screen and a faster boot because it doesn't have to log uh, all the boot information and boot video stuff like that. Uh, timeout just basically I'll wait how many seconds for it to timeout before it shuts down. By default, I believe it's 30. So go to services next. Now these are all the services that either start up with your computer, but via you know a program you installed or something by Microsoft. You can check by hiding all Microsoft services to see all the ones that aren't really by Microsoft. Now obviously I'm not going to go through everything uh, some of your manufacturer stuff maybe here. Uh, some quick things like uh, Syner if you don't need some start stuff running up just you know uh, what do you call that? Uncheck it. I'm going to give you a site to uh, Black Viper who has, gives a list of safe tweaks which are basic tweaks that any user can do. Uh, a little more edgy or medium tweaks that not uh, you know, a little bit more power users can do, or smarter users, and it has one that's just basically all tweaked out, which is more for way more advanced users who don't really, you know, have their own security, have their own firewall, stuff like that, because you disable stuff like uh, Defender, etc. Um, I consider myself a power user, so I disabled a couple services, as you can see here. I don't use Ready Boost. I don't use some Firebird server. I don't use a couple things. I mean, there's stuff, stuff like IP Helper, if you don't have a server, obviously, that's, you know, look through the ones that are pretty self-explanatory. Look at the ones that, like, printer services, if you don't have a printer, fax, if you don't have fax. Uh, stuff like if you don't need log me in service running when you boot up. I like to keep the firewall, obviously, running. Some people don't do that. Net log on. Uh, look, huge, huge amount of services I disabled there. So I'm not going to go through them all. You can, I'll give you the link to all the ones you can tweak. Um, so yeah, you can go this way, or you can go services.msc, run services.msc, same thing. Um, so yeah, guys, that's how you disable services, and just hit apply, restart your machine, and I've seen a great increase in boot. Another thing you can do is startup items. These are all my startup items I disabled. Main things I want running are my processor, obviously, the operating system, antivirus, my other antivirus, and my wireless. 
and antivirus and the point driver. Now these are a little bit more just because I have a laptop like about one, two, three, four, I have five things running at startup not including the operating system itself. So five things that being for the laptop and security and wireless of course. So those are the main things I need starting up for a laptop. So I mean just again that's self-explanatory just go through check what you don't need tools you don't really have to worry about that so just hit apply OK and you're good so uh, that's MS config check out services and startup check in the video description for the link to all the services you can tweak out with black vipers list uh, disk utilities is what I talk about next defragging your disk can speed up uh, you know just getting to your data much quicker if you go to programs or you know just start accessories and then go to system tools which is actually already down there for you I just organized mine differently Go to disk cleanup or uh, disk defrag, which actually, which is DFGUI. Um, basically, this will launch the defragmenter. It's going to analyze your disks and it's going to tell you if you need defragging, whether or not it needs it or not. It's up to you. You can defrag it anyhow. I'm not going to defrag, but anyway, it compresses all your information as it analyzes it, it compresses it all in the disk to be easier to read uh, and you know obviously write out. So that way, you can access data much much quicker. I would recommend doing that maybe twice, maybe every two months or so, you know, every three months, whatever, uh, just run a defrag. I also recommend maybe every three or four months, run a, or even, you know, once a month if you want to, run a disk cleanup. If you're more a power user, get a lot of data. I'm not going to do this because it has to scan the disk. Select your disk, hit OK. It's going to scan it for temp files, um, registries, I mean, registry files, all these backup files, and you can delete them all. Now, something else, if you... I don't want to scan the disk, but if you do go in, go to extra, I think in the top they'll say advanced options. If you go to that, you can click um, what's called the system restore point, and you can actually delete your system, your previous system restore points, except for the last system restore point, like, you know, ever since you got it out of the box, and that clears up a whole bunch of disk space, especially if you've had your computer for a while. Uh, again, just go into advanced options or disk cleanup. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to wait for the thing to actually, uh, actually, you know what I could do is, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to run this, so I'm going to run disk cleanup here, and I'm just going to quickly pause the video and get back to you when it's done. Okay, so we're back here, and uh, as you see here, it just has a couple, you know, just clear 20 megabytes because I've already done it. It does stuff like uh, thumbnails, recycling, bin offline, web pages, you can just check them all pretty much. If you go to more options, I should say, here it deletes system restore and shadow copies for Vista. So just hit clean up and then go back here, choose your stuff and hit OK and then it'll delete all the files and the cleanups. So I'm going to hit cancel because obviously I don't need to do that. And index features. So I mean uh, along with defrag which compresses it, cleanup which makes up more hard drive space. Indexing is basically a, a service that makes it easier to search if you're a huge searcher. I mean, this could come in handy. It indexes all your stuff that you search. If not, you can go ahead and disable the services under MS Config. And I believe if you go to uh, my computer here, you can actually disable it within Explorer as well. Go to Tools, Folder Options, View, and uh, down here it should say something about indexing now. Hang on a second here. Index, index, index. Actually, I think if you disable the service, it should just able, disable it altogether. Hmm. Okay, so side extensions. Okay, so in general, tab also. Okay, so yeah, just disable the service. That should just help out. Uh, services under MS Config. It's index, I think it's index searching. So just look for that uh, service and go ahead and disable it. It, uh, it does it make your search as fast. I mean, it'll still be pretty quick. And, it, you know, just makes a hard drive run a little quicker. All, actually, I think you can disable it. Okay, never mind. Here, go to my computer also. Go to disk hit properties. Right here. Okay, my bad. You can index this drive for faster searching. I just disabled it. and just It still runs pretty fast. I mean, it makes a computer, you know, I guess you can see a, a hint of increase. So that's what you can do to the disk. And of course, go to add or remove and you know remove programs remove window look on the right and go to windows components you can remove games and other services that come on like printer services stuff like that next let's talk about basic effects and disabling arrow if you don't really not a fan of arrow I'm not you know I don't use it that much I haven't really even used it uh, you can disable that and if you're using arrow another way just disable transparency less resource hog but um if not, just change your theme, and let's 
do some basic turn off some basic effects. So hit Windows key pause and that'll open up your system information. Hit advanced system settings. And I'm just gonna wait for this thing to pop up here and I don't even need this anymore, so Oh, whoopsies, that was a <laughs> That's the thing I actually did need. Okay, advanced system settings. There you go. So go over to advanced tab and then system properties and hit under performance, hit settings. Um, I adjust mine for best performance. Takes off a whole bunch of fades, stuff like that. Um, I guess you can keep any of them on if you need. What I did keep, well, actually, I turned everything off. Um, some people may need, uh, you know, drop shadow, stuff like that. It's just all your appeal. I like to just turn everything off. It's much easier. So, yeah. That uh, helps a lot, actually. That does a lot because uh, Windows Vista doesn't need to put out so much, uh, what do you call it, memory. It's not memory intensive on your RAM. It frees up RAM, which is good. Now, speaking of RAM, let's talk about Ready Boost. And actually, another way to disable Arrow altogether, if you disable service, uh, just, I'll just run services.msc, because when you turn off the Arrow, it doesn't actually disable it. It just turns it off. So if you head over to services.msc and look for desktop, window man manager session manager if you disable this service which mine is it just disables arrow altogether and you can't see it in your uh, theme so if you do want to completely disable that's how you can re-enable it if you need to just re-enable the service ready boost is something new in Vista uh, which basically um, you can plug a pen drive in and use its free alloc unallocated space as I guess a type of ACK is a type of RAM it gives you know space for other applications and background services to run so it does I guess considerably if you have a good you know like if you have like a 2 gig 4 gig uh, or even a 16 gig I've seen those pen drive try plugging those in guys will help them tremendously especially if you have a low processor not enough RAM on Vista the so check out ready boost you can just do that by when you plug in the pen drive it'll say ready boost work with ready boost or just go to my computer, right click the pen drive and say work with ready boost or whatever. It should say something like that under properties. So next talk about task managing and you know keeping that in order along with Firefox. So if you go to task manager, obviously you can see all the CPU usage right mine right now. Mine with the screen recorder is running around thirty. My memory one gig is running around eight hundred. This can only go up to one gig, so I try to make the best. I'm running a couple stuff though, so Obviously, I tried to check check what your processor are running and how to you know enable Firefox to actually you know Firefox check what your top things are uh, you know that are using a lot of memory and disable stuff that you don't really need to be running right now. Um, now, what I did about Firefox is keeping that in order is with an add-on called RAM Back, which I have to install. I haven't installed it yet, but I installed it on my XP machine. It works tremendously. RAM Back. Basically, every time uh, your Firefox gets too high in memory, it clears Firefox's internal cache, and which just frees up a huge amount of memory on Firefox's part, which of course makes Vista faster. And so that's something you can do with Firefox as well, with a couple tweaks on Firefox to clear cache and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, check out tweaks for Firefox to decrease CPU usage and uh, memory usage. That way you can keep your task manager organized and you can look around what other services and stuff is taking up a lot of space. I recommend going to How to Geek to check out stuff like SVC host and stuff like that means don't just dis don't disable anything you don't know. If you want to know about more more about it, Google it of course. So keep your task manager in order. Check out RAM back, install it for Firefox, great add on, free up a lot of memory. Now for miscellaneous tips, uh, go ahead and check out registry tweaks. I'm not going to give you any really. There's a lot on the web. I've done a couple of them. How to speed up shutdown, how to speed up startup, stuff like that. Check out software like Tweak VI, which tweaks your visual interface and stuff like that, and even does other stuff like CPU. You can tell your CPU to I think process like if you have the certain Intel type or AMD type, you can uh, get more power out of your CPU. You can tell your CPU and your RAM whether you want your RAM processing to background services like you know services like I guess your antivirus or if you want it on foreground apps like Firefox you can tell it what you want it to direct to with tweak the eye check it out uh, so again you can direct CPU and RAM where it wants to go uh, I don't I did not used to have it I used I think I made my RAM obviously go to my uh, I think I'm gonna go to my background services and I made my CPU attend to my app so just a good balance there. And of course, before if you want to reinstall or you are installing Vista, back up your info, back up your data, and run NLight. NLight, it's actually spelled NLight. Sorry, my bad. Um, it 
tweaks the installation of Vista when you install it. Gives all the crap wear off. It's called, actually, it's called V Light. Sorry, my bad. I'm thinking of N Light. And light is for uh, XP, I believe. Sorry. V light Vista. Um, so just makes it a much, much more stable and much more packed down Vista installation. So N light is for XP if you're on XP. And Tweak VI, there's Tweak XP for Tweak uh, for XP users. So and there's a special offer to get 10% off the actual full version of Tweak VI. So yeah, guys, uh, check out Tweak VI. Check out V light if you're installing or reinstalling Vista. Um, so yeah, guys, those are my complete tweaks. I know there's a lot, but check them all out. Uh, you know, set aside time to do it. Keep maintenance on your computer, and uh, let me know how it goes. Uh, hopefully it speeds up your Vista considerably somewhat. Uh, anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I know it was a long one. Anyhow, check out the website at www.adriansTech.com. And also our new blog at www.blog.adriansTech.com. Actually, there's no www, so blog.adriansTech.com. Email all your feedback to adrianstech at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.